Hi friends, this is Vetrivel. This tutorial I will teach. Uh, one of my friend asking, Hello sir, do you know the code for searching the data grid view within with two radio button? If we press uh, radio button mail, so data grid view we can see only male record. And if we, if we select female record, so can we just see the female record? Please help me sir. Okay. Izan Khan Rohit, I will help you. I will make the video for you right now. First of all, I am already opened uh, my project, so I need to create one new form. Right click, add new Windows form. Here, yeah. I change the name to data grid view filter and click add <coughs> so I got one form I need to change the default uh, form to this data grid view filter now I execute the program <coughs> the program was executed successfully now I need to add one data grid view for here first I need to go toolbox So I need to add in inside a data a data grid view. Enable deleting, enable editing, enable adding. Just I'm uh, uncheck all those things and expand like that. <coughs> After that, I need to. Containers group box. I'm adding on group box. Changing a group box name to gender. Inside group box, I have to add two radio button one and two. Just I'm changing the name to name and second radio button to also I'm changing female. I'm changing little bit font higher. You increase the font size, you know it automatically increase the size of the radio button also so just an increase to 16 and click so you got the font like that ok so once I hit the radio button 1 it will work uh, some code and hit the radio button 2 it will work some course ok First of all, I will call the my database connections. So here I have the record database there. The inside I image DB is the <coughs> okay. I need to add some data first of all, some tables here. Uh, this is server explore you didn't find the server explore then you can go to view and click server explore you will get the server explore you have already in sql server database then you can click here to uh, put your uh, computer name or 
your server name or you have to put the dot also is working and select the which database you want to fetch so now i am need to fetch uh, marketing world this is my marketing db and select ok now i have marketing db inside the marketing db i have the customer applications table is there so inside the customer application just i am viewing the record i have the 4343 records is there here gender of gender male or female is the record is there so i need to fetch these records okay now i need to call this database first first of all uh, first of all i need to declare the uh, sql connection string so i need to using uh, system dot data dot sql client i need to declare this namespace then only you can get this sql connection okay now con equal to new sql connections okay now just click this your database and right click the properties click the properties you will get the connection string here just you have to select this right click properties you will get the connection string just copy control a and control c copy those connection string inside the sql connections you have to paste it just okay now uh, data server name is dot and the database name is sql db integrated security true means you no need to put the username and password because it is a windows authentication mode okay now uh, i declare the connection string now i need to call sql data adapter sda equal to new sql data adapter so you have to need to uh, visible a little bit higher because you are viewing purpose you can view clearly okay i declare sql data connections here this is radio button one right so select star from my table name is customer app so c u s underscore a p p cus app where i need to call this uh, gender right so gender equal to single quote male now i need to call the connection con now data table dt equal to new data table here sda dot fill dt now uh, data grid view one dot data source equal to dt i think is enough now copy the same code control c and paste it here but you have to change here to female female okay i think uh, i done enough this right okay one more thing i will teach and uh, you using the sql data adapter then you no need to open uh, connection dot open you no need to open the connection and as well as you need no need to uh, connection dot close connection open and close because 
because SQ, you using the SQL adapter, it automatically open the connection and as well as automatically close the connection. You have to use the SQL uh, command or reader. That time only you can uh, use SQL. You have to must use SQL connection open, uh, connection open and connection close and all. Now no need. Just uh, run the project. Now I click the mail. I will get the male record only. Now I click the female. I will get the female record. Get the female record. Okay. Because one more thing I will teach. Using the data source is DT. So once it change the record, it automatically clear the data grid view and as well as uh, reload the new records. But you have to manually add the records to uh, grid view. Now that time you have to use clear and all many things you have to do. So uh, that steps also I will teach. Uh, first of all, you have to go. Uh, you have to add. You have to add. Just you have to click here and uh, add column. Add column, have to mention name and age, gender, date of birth. So I added four columns here. So you have to see uh, customer name and the age and date of birth and gender. So I need to pass the records through manually. So just uh, I am changing this record. Data grid view one dot rows dot clear for each. data row 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 in dt dot rows here uh, int m equal to data grid view one dot rows dot add so you have to mention this. Uh, the automatically the runtime runtime the row will be uh, step by step. Uh, it will be adding. Now uh, we have to call uh, data grid view one dot rows. Uh, index is n. So first uh, the first row it will be uh, inserted. That time the index will be zero stored into n. That n will be passed into this row. Now, cell 0 dot value. Cell 0 means this is name is a cell 0 and age is a cell 1, age gender is a cell 2 and uh, data birth is a cell 3. So, here uh, data grid view, sorry, row. This is first column is name, right? So I need to call the name. This is customer name. Just right click the customer name and copy this name. And inside double quote you have to paste it to string. Likewise just I am copy those record. Control C. Control V. Control V. Control V. Here I am just uh, name, age, gender, data birth. Right. So name I already put it. Age is age. So just I am changing the age here. And date of birth. D O B. Just D O B. And gender. Gender. One more thing. Here how to mention caps or small is not a problem because uh, C sharp is a case sensitive. Okay, now I am just. Not case sensitive. Yeah, C sharp is not a case 
C sharp is case sensitive, but SQL Server is not a case sensitive, so you can use anything. Now I am just saving those record and click and click mail record. So it only comes uh, this records only because I mention here zero, so you have to change one and two as well as. 3 now save and run those record and click mail so if perfectly we uh, fetch, uh, fetch the records in table likewise you can change just copy this same code and paste into second grid view Now I think it's done. Now I run the record. So first you have to click the mail. It will fetch the mail record and click the female. It will fetch the female record. Okay guys, we will meet our next tutorial. Bye, see you later.